Okay, uh, I thought before I went any further, I would drain the sump uh, of the oil because having taken the uh, barrels off and that, you know, I realized, you know, how full the sump was of oil. And so what I've done is I've taken out the rear section of the bench, uh, which is designed for taking back wheels off, really. And uh, taken the uh, sump plug off and uh, draining, draining the oil from the sump. Uh, I just used the impact driver and that's a one and a half inch, I think it's one and a half inch UNF, uh, you know, one and a half inch UNF. I'm not saying that's the right size, but it fitted, fitted fine and that sump plug came off no problem and I'm just letting it drain for a bit. Okie dokie. Um, I've drained the sump of oil now. Uh, and so we've got the engine back on the bench. I, I haven't got it strapped down anymore because all the barrels soon have gone. So it's, it's totally stable. Uh, and hopefully if I, if there's any nuts in that, that won't come undone, I need to strap it back down again and I will, but hopefully it should be okay. So I've now got my trip, drip tray here and hopefully that will catch any oil that's in the uh, primary. So I've got a three quarters uh, AF, uh, UNC, UNF, uh, Okay, that's off now. No sign of the uh, primary coming off. We'll give it a light tap, but only a light one. I can feel it's going now, you can hear that plunking sound. There you go. There we go. And uh, <laughs> there's no oil in there anyway. And uh, just what I remember, there are two locating dowels, one there and one there. Okay, um, and so when uh, when you're taking the case off, don't whack it sideways. I just tapped it to break the seal, and then you pull it off over these locating dowels that go in these uh, these two holes. So just be aware of that. Don't try and sort of whack it sideways and wonder why it's not coming off. I just tapped it to break the seal, and then it should just pull off. Okay, everything looks pretty okay. I'm not sure about this rotor being that far inside the stator. Maybe that's okay. I'm not sure. But, you know, it looks fine. There's no gunge or anything. Obviously, it's slight worry that there's a lack of oil in there, but, you know, it's, it's, everything's oily and nice and clean. There's no problems there. So uh, everything's good. Okay, we'll just peel the seal off. So we won't be reusing that. And it will just get, get it out of the way, really, so we can clean clean everything up. Just your normal gunge in the bottom. But just that's all you'd expect that sediment in the bottom. The same as the uh, you can see this uh, sediment in the in the bottom of the outer casing. Just oil sludge. Yeah, someone was asking uh, the other day about um, flushing engines out, flushing using flushing oil, as we used to do. But generally, it's not really recommended because this sludge that I'm just wiping out now sits there and it doesn't do any harm. It just sits there in the bottom of a casing. It's sitting in the bottom of a crankcase. It'll be in the bottom of the timing case and so on. But it just sits there and... It's out of the way. If you put flushing oil in, then that tends to lift that sludge and then send it round the engine in the oil. 
you know, in the in the flushing fluid, uh, and that's when it starts doing some harm. So I, I, you know, because it all gets in the bearings and things, it's very difficult to get out, uh, especially like plain bearings and things, bits of grit and that get in. So it's probably advisable. Uh, well, I wouldn't advise people to flush the uh, engine out for that reason. The sludge is there in the bottom; it stays in the bottom. Uh, leave it. No matter what, even when you change the oil, it'll stay there. And fine. Okay, I'm getting ready. I'm going to take off the rotor nut uh, first, I think. So I'm going to lock the engine. Uh, I've put a bar, this is a T bar from the socket, through uh, the small ends, and I've just uh, put a bit of tape around the uh, around the bar just to protect the uh, small ends, and I'll be putting some cloth. Uh, over the uh, edges of the crankcase to uh, to make sure they're fully protected, and then we'll undo that nut. I'll just video this now so you can see exactly what's happening. Okay, uh, I'm going to take the uh, rotor nut off using the, the uh, zapper. Should just come straight off with the bar lock to stop the engine turning. There we go. Straight off. Yeah, so that's the uh, rotor nut off with a special washer behind it. It's called a fan disc washer. It was a strange affair, but obviously uh, it works in locking. I'm not going to lock that nut. 